What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Torado. I'm Ty Brecher and we're here at Brecher Built Customs. And today we're going to be installing the V-Crez Dodge Demon wide body kit on my 2009 Dodge Challenger SRT8. But before we do that, we're going to go over what comes in the kit. We're going to go right over here and show you. The kit includes a complete set of front and rear, left and right, wide body fender flares, as well as the mounting brackets. A set of front wide body reflectors double-sided adhesive tape, a simple set of instructions, some thank you cards, and of course, a V-Crez air freshener. So now we're ready to get started. The first step is to insert the wide body front reflector into the front bumper as shown, while listening for an audible click. So right here in front of me, I've laid out some of the first pieces to start the wide body install. So we've got the front wide body mounting bracket, the very front wide body flare, some thicker double-sided adhesive tape, and the thinner double-sided adhesive tape, as well as a cutting tool so we can trim up the tape. So here's how you mount the bracket to the flare. There's a beveled edge and you insert it, listening for the audible click. And on this side, you're gonna take some of the thinner double-sided adhesive tape and apply it right here. Looking around the flare, you're going to see that there are some beveled edges. So on that, we're going to use some of the thicker double-sided adhesive tape. So now, let's take it apart, apply some of this tape, and get started. When applying the double-sided tape, make sure you press firmly to secure proper adhesion. Another good tip is to make sure you clean the parts with some sort of alcohol or non-abrasive cleaner. Next, I'll be installing the thicker tape alongside the beveled edges of the wide body flare. Now's a good time to acknowledge that this is actually going to be the same steps and procedures used for the rest of the wide body fender flares. We decided to start with the front foremost flare because it creates a very good starting point and lines up the rest of the flares on the front of the car. So once we finish applying all the tape, we go ahead and pick up our fender flare, apply the bracket, once again listening for the audible clip, and here you can see where we have all the tape lined up, and it should look something like this. The final step is to peel all the tape and apply it to the car. Before installing the flare, make sure that all the mating surfaces are clean and free of any dirt or oil. The next step is to gently line up the wide body front fender flare with the reflector. Once in place, make sure to apply firm and even pressure all along the double sided tape to ensure you get a good stick. So now that we've got the front fender flare situated, we can start preparing the other fender flares. So once again, it's the same process that we showed you on the smaller front fender flare. So we're gonna take some of this double sided piece of tape and apply it all around the mounting bracket first. Once you've finished applying the double sided adhesive tape onto the mounting bracket, do the same on the front wide body fender plate by applying the thicker double sided adhesive tape onto the beveled edges and always make sure to press firmly to ensure a good stick. Now that we're done with that, we're ready to install it onto the car. We begin by installing the wide body fender flare bracket onto the car itself. Make sure when you're installing this part to use firm and even pressure to ensure the double sided adhesive tape sticks properly onto the car. Next, grab the wide body front fender flare and start inserting it into the locking tabs on the mounting bracket. When you first start installing it, make sure it lines up correctly and then listen for the audible click as you insert it. Just as before, make sure you're applying firm and even pressure around the top side of the fender flare to ensure a proper stick and good adhesion. So 
next we have the lower portion of the front fender flare. As you can see, I've already applied double-sided tape, and there's this hole here for this plastic rivet. Now, I did get this plastic rivet and this rivet gun from Amazon, and I'll provide a link in the description below. If you have any mud flaps, make sure you remove them before you install this front lower fender flare piece. Now, it's important to note in my video, it's not lining up properly because the car is sitting on jack stands, and that lower front of the side skirt is actually bowed out, not allowing them to get a secure fit. But once you insert the rivet, use the plastic rivet gun, pop it off, and you're done. The same method that we use for the front of the fender flares can be applied to the rear of the fender flares. Always ensure that your area is clean to ensure proper adhesion. Now's a good time to point out that we pulled these fender flares right out of the box and installed them right onto the car. You always want to make sure you test fit your parts before you paint them, that way if there are any defects you're able to return them or exchange them for better ones. Lastly, you might notice that we didn't install the lower fender flare pieces because the car is sitting on jack stands and it would not allow a proper fit. Alright guys, so the V-Crest kit does come with double sided tape. But for what we're going to be using, we want to use the 3M general adhesive just because when we're road coursing or autocrossing, we don't want to be doing anything where any of the flares come off. So as you can see here, the double-sided tape does work, uh, but we're just looking for a little better stick. We'll put a link in the description for this 3M general adhesive below. Yeah. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's how you install the V-Crest Dodge Demon Wide Body Kit on a Dodge Challenger. Very straightforward and very easy to install. To purchase any of these parts, the flares, the front bumper, or the total kit, you can look in the description below or visit vcres.com for any more details. And if you guys like these videos, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace out.